In this lecture, we're going to look at the chemical reactions of the carboxylic acids. So by the end of this lecture, you should be able to explain why carboxylic acids are more acidic than alcohols. You should also be able to determine the product of the reaction of a carboxylic acid with a reactive metal, a base, alcohols, amines, and lithium aluminium hydride. Many of the reactions of carboxylic acids rely on the fact that it's an acid. So I want to start by looking at the acidity of carboxylic acids. What make them acidic? I remember they're only weak acids. And the weak acids, due to the heterolytic breaking of the OH group. So let's look at what that means. So here's our carboxylic acid. This bond here, the OH bond, breaks. Okay. Both electrons go onto the more electronegative of the two atoms, which is the oxygen, okay. leaving the carboxylate ion and the H plus ion, which is responsible for the acidic nature of the carboxylate. Now, carboxylic acids are not the only things that have OH groups. Alcohols, and indeed water, also have OH groups. So, they also, that bond, the OH bond, ionises in that case, in those cases as well, but to a far smaller extent, and I want to explain why that is the case. So, for an alcohol, just like the carboxylic acid, the OH bond breaks, leaving you with the RO minus ion and your H plus. Okay. Why does this happen to a far less extent than in the carboxylic acid? So let's look at the carboxylic acid again. So we've got So the bond breaks and we get the carboxylate ion and our H plus. Now it is an equilibrium, so it is a weak acid, uh, but in this equilibrium, the equilibrium lies a lot further over to the right hand side than in this case, so we get a lot more H plus ions so it's far more acidic. And why that is, is due to the stability of this ion. This ion here is very unstable. So that ion and H plus tend to recombine and go back to form the alcohol. It does this to a far lesser extent in this case. And this is because this negative charge can move around the ion so you get this can vary between the, ox the negative charge being on that oxygen and the negative charge being on that oxygen okay. and this delocalization of the charge gives this carboxylate ion extra stability so it's less likely to recombine with H plus ions to form the carboxylic acid molecule. So, so the acidity of the carboxylate acids is due to the extra stability of the carboxylate ion caused by the electron delocalization. In the alcohol, there's no other place for the negative charge to go. Here, it can alternate between being on that oxygen and that oxygen and that, get that delocalization gives the ion extra stability, hence making the carboxylic acid more, a lot more acidic than alcohols. So, because of its acidity, it will undergo all the normal reactions that acids undergo. Same reactions you'd expect hydrochloric acid, nitrix, or fluoric acid to undergo. They'll just uh, proceed more slowly because it's a weak acid. So, 
it's reacting the alkali to produce a salt in water. It would react with the reactive metal, as in one above hydrogen in the electrochemical series, to produce a salt in hydrogen. It would react with the metal carbonate to produce a salt, water and CO2. Okay, so just the usual acid reactions. Just want to talk briefly about the naming of the salt. You know, if we use hydrochloric acid, we produce a metal chloride, nitric acid, a metal nitrate, sulfuric acid, a metal sulfate. With the carboxylic acids, the naming, well, if it was methanoic acid, it's metal methanoate. So the ion is called the methanoate ion. Ethanoic acid, it's the ethanoate ion, so you'd form a metal ethanoate. So for example, here we've got ethanoic acid reacting with sodium hydroxide. So acid and alkali produce a salt and water. Okay. Here's the salt. This is the ethanoate ion and the sodium ion. So it's sodium ethanoate is the name of the salt. Okay, what other chemical reactions do carboxylic acids undergo? Well, condensation with alcohol to form esters. We've talked about that a million times, don't really need to talk about it anymore. Okay. Uh, it will undergo a condensation reaction with amines to form amides, just like the way the amino acids join together to form proteins. So, yeah, carboxylic acid and your amine, OH comes off there, H comes off there and the two molecules join together to give you your amide link which also is known as the peptide link if it happens to be part of a protein and finally and again a reaction we've already come across is reduction and the reducing agent that we use an awful lot in organic chemistry is lithium aluminium, aluminium hydride so if you reduce a uh, carboxylic acid, you t can reduce it right back to the primary alcohol that it was made from. You do go through via the aldehyde as well, so you go from propanoic acid, propanol, through to propanol, propanol really that should be called. So, again, you've come across uh, all those reactions before, that's just pulling them all together and putting them in one place. And that's the chemical reactions of the carboxylic acids. So you should now be able to explain why carboxylic acids are more acidic than alcohols. And you should be able to determine the product of the reaction of a carboxylic acid with a reactive metal, a base, so like a uh, metal hydroxide, metal oxide, metal carbonate, an alcohol, amines, or lithium aluminium hydride.